Spotlight. The red, neon, blue eye rainbow fish is very rare and it is one of the most gorgeously coloured and outstanding nano fish. These fish are a peaceful species, however they are unsuitable for the general community aquarium because they are very small and will easily be outcompeted for food. These rainbow fish are best maintained in a species only aquarium or alongside fish that are similar in size, nature and share the same water requirements. The best tank mates for these fish would be adult dwarf shrimp and other invertebrates. Red neon blue eye rainbow fish are a shoaling species that you should keep in groups of at least eight individuals, ideally more. Keeping them in more significant numbers will make the fish less nervous and result in a more efficient, natural looking display. The males will also display some fascinating behaviour and show their best colours as they compete for female attention. These fish will fare much better in a densely planted aquarium with floating plants and driftwood roots or branches. This will help diffuse the light that these fish will appreciate and add a more natural feel. Red neon blue eye rainbow fish exhibit bright reddish orange coloration on their bodies and they have a light blue stripe down their back as well as blue rings around their eyes. In addition, their fins have widely scattered black spots and the tips of their caudal fin lobes and the upper edge of pectoral fins have prominent white to yellow markings. Red neon blue eye rainbow fish have only been found in the vicinity of Tamika in the capital of Mimika Regency, Papua, Indonesia in Southeast Asia. They inhabit swamps with murky slow flowing waters and submerged dense vegetation. In the wild, red neon blue eye rainbow fish eat zooplankton, phytoplankton and invertebrates. In the aquarium they fare best with a diet comprised of live and frozen foods such as Daphnia, Moina, brine shrimp and microworm supplemented with high quality small floating dried foods such as crushed flake or fine granules. To differentiate between male and female red neon blue eye rainbow fish, males display bright neon red to reddish orange and blue coloration on their bodies and fins, especially while they are competing with other males. The second anal and dorsal fins of males become very extended and fan-like as they mature. Females are usually smaller with shorter fins but still display some vibrant coloration. Spawning is more likely to occur in warmer water with the females attaching a few eggs daily for several days on aquatic vegetation or decor. An individual male can mate with multiple females during a single day. There are two methods that you can use for breeding these fish. The first involves isolating a small group containing a single male and two or three females into a breeding tank with an air powered sponge filter and a spawning medium. This can be either moss or spawning mops. You should take out the medium several times a day and you should move any eggs into a separate container for incubation and hatching. The alternative method is to maintain a colony of adults in a larger, fully decorated setup that should allow some fry to survive if well planted. Since these fish spend the early part of their life close to the water surface, aquatic mosses attached to decor high in the water column produce the most favourable results. Still, floating plants with trailing roots are also recommended. The second approach does not result in a very high yield, but it is more straightforward and more reliable. The reason for this is because established planted aquariums facilitate relatively stable water conditions and microfauna can then constitute a valuable early food source for the babies. The incubation period is usually around 10 days depending on the temperature of the water. After that, the fry will require microscopic foods such as paramecium for approximately five days before they are able to accept baby brine shrimp, microworms and similarly sized foods. You can also raise them by using good quality powdered dry products. After that, the growth rate of the fry usually is relatively fast. <laughs>